Last fall, I was going to do a 10-mile run, and I only did five, and I was so out of breath, I could barely walk back to my car. I went to the MD Express in Gloucester and went back and forth three or four times, loading up on steroids and antibiotics, and they kept saying I had pneumonia. Towards the end of Christmas, I had finally been hooked up with a pulmonologist in Newport News. My breathing by then had gotten so bad that my oxygen was at 68, and instead they admitted me for 14 days. She had a very dramatic presentation. You have somebody who's completely healthy doing her daily activities, and then within a matter of weeks to months, you are bed bound on oxygen and not really able to do anything without getting very out of breath. Essentially what we mean by pulmonary fibrosis is a disease process causing scarring of the lungs. Scarring of the lungs is not much different than scarring in, in any other part of your body. It uh, helps heal damage but at the same time uh, it affects the ability of the body or the organ to function. So scarred lungs are not very efficient in exchanging oxygen people are feeling more out of breath and they become less able to do their daily activities. While I was in the hospital, they started figuring out that the pulmonary issues could possibly be traced back to something that triggered it. I had been working extra in the antique store in the warehouse. I either breathed something in that messed with my lungs. I'd also been doing a lot of yard work, spreading mulch, and I could have breathed in the spores from the mulch. Dr. Pirellis, along with Dr. Patel and Newport, TPMG and Newport News, figured out it was the hypersensitivity, pneumonitis. So then we finally had a plan. We have more than 200 conditions causing different types of pulmonary fibrosis. And a big part of what we're doing in our clinic is to identify exactly what is the cause of the pulmonary fibrosis and if we can do something Moreover, we can get people to feel better by modifying their environment. For example, people who get scarring and inflammation of the lungs because of an exposure, the moment we remove this exposure from the environment, we can expect some degree of symptom improvement or stability. I, I kept telling them, I said, I, I've got to run again. It's, it's my drug. I've got to run again. I, I want to run in the Richmond Marathon. Well, every day, and my mother, who kept pushing me too, every day I started from January on just pushing. By March, the end of March, to, we kept dropping the oxygen down. And every time I came down to here to see Dr. Perales, it was just getting better and better. And as we progressed with therapy, we saw that her imaging improved significantly her breathing test improved significantly and she was able to become more and more of her old self. But it was a very, very good outcome and I'm very, very happy for her. That is the most impressive. He, he just cares. He cares about everybody. His enthusiasm as I started getting better too was, was matched. He's, he's, he's top notch. <laughs> And this marathon, if I have to just walk half of it, whatever it takes. I want that medal and my blanket and a pizza and a beer. <laughs>